coming to mind was a woman, okay? She used to be a minister of God's word, okay? And her husband committed adultery. He, he fell from grace. And so he went to her and told him that uh, he had been tempted and did the sin. Would she forgive him? And she told him no. And he went to the pastor and he asked the pastor. They all forgave him and prayed for him because he was tempted of the devil. And the woman got very angry and she said, here I am preaching God's word and uh, I'm so holy and he's so sinful. But what happened, she quit reading her Bible, she quit praying, and she eventually let Satan in her heart with hatred and malice. And she took a gun and she killed the other woman and she killed her husband mm. and she killed herself. She ended up in hell. And uh, the affair had ended a long time ago, but she had such bitterness said that Jesus spoke to her. He said, you should have lived what you preached. You should have forgiven. You should have uh, understood. That's what Jesus told her. And he said, instead, you yielded to the devil and sin entered into your heart. Hatred and sin. That's what he told her. Let me ask you this. When he was escorting you through mm -hmm. hell, mm -hmm. did some of the people try to talk to him? Oh, yeah. And what, tell me some of that dialogue. Okay, many of them would. And they, would, they were in different nations, okay, different languages. But he understood all of them. And when people go to hell, see it, it, it's a whatever lifetime of sin they committed. If they were liars, they're put with liars. If they were so murdered, it's like categories. Yeah, like in the Galatians, the book of Galatians, the seventeen works of the flesh. If they were murderers, they're put with murderers. And as Christ would walk, they would reach their bony hands up because they were skeletons full of dead man's bones. They didn't have hair, flesh, blood, or organs. But they could talk, they could turn, and they would scream and they'd say, Put the fires out. Don't let us burn anymore. And they would cry for repentance, some, but some would curse the Lord. Some would scream at him and say, why didn't my neighbor warn me? Why didn't they take me to church? And you would hear the cries of the multitude. Is there any reversal? I mean, would, uh, would someone that is committed to hell, can they ever get out of hell? Absolutely not. We'll be back in a moment. This is fascinating because when people die, they go to one of two places. They go to heaven or they go to hell. Mary Catherine Baxter went to both places. So you have a little preview of what to expect. Don't go away. We'll be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Mary Kay Baxter had an encounter with Jesus the Messiah. He told her, the things you are about to see are a warning. The book you write will save many souls from hell. Call now and receive your copy of Mary Kay Baxter's book, A Divine Revelation of Hell. For a donation of $18, shipping is included. Ask for offer number 1051. This book documents Mary's journey with Jesus as he took her for 30 nights to witness the horror and torment of hell. Then he took her for 10 nights to experience the glory and majesty of heaven. Jesus said he wanted to give her a revelation to prepare the world for his return and to turn many to righteousness. This book will show you how to cause the evil forces to lose ground, how to destroy their hold over you and others, how to break off evil spells. You will learn what will happen on earth during the great tribulation, how to share the reality of hell and the glory of heaven with your family and friends, and so much more. Jesus had Mary Baxter write this book so that the whole world would know that hell is real and how you can avoid ever going there. Don't miss out on getting your copy of Mary Kay Baxter's book, A Divine Revelation of Hell. For a donation of $18, shipping is included. Ask for offer number 1051, or you can write to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, Post Office Box 1918, Brunswick, Georgia 31521. Please specify offer number 1051, or log on to SidRoth.org. This book contains God's warning and call to salvation. Time is running out. Call now or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Mary Catherine Baxter. And Mary Catherine, uh, you had an encounter that uh, Jesus put you through for a reason. You went yes. to hell for 30 nights. Yes. Why did he do this? Well, for the purpose to win the lost and to let them know and prepare them for the coming of the Lord. Most people don't believe in a literal hell anymore. Oh, I know. Yes. Tell me some of the worst things you saw in hell. Uh, some of the worst things. There were two very, very dramatic there was the vats of fire. There was fire like on the 15th night. The angel of the Lord even was in the presence there, but Jesus was with me. 
and there was a place where people, souls that just died on earth came, and they were thrown into liquid boiling fire mixed with uh, hot lava. And this was the judgment of God upon the abominables, people that taught false doctrine to people, people that lied and deliberately uh, blasphemed God that knew better. And then the other So was, there's different degrees of punishment. Yes. Even. Yes. And then there was a river that flowed all through the beginning of my journey. It was like maybe uh, six feet wide and so deep, and flames came up like ten feet. And in it was chained together skeletons by the thousands. And the word of God was written in the fires, lovers of their own flesh, more than God's commandments. Uh, men loving men and women loving women. And all through the were, fire. Were there, just out of curiosity, were there special sections then for people who were lesbians or homosexuals? It was in this area, in the fires. Hmm. They were chained with a black chain, Sid, that they went through the current of fire all through hell. And like 60 to 80 miles an hour. And how painful do you think this well, their, was? Well, their bones were charred red. And they would scream and scream, saying, no man cares for my soul. And they would say, warn, warn the people not to come here. And most of the people in hell would scream that. Tell my family not to come to hell. Tell them to accept the Messiah as their Savior. That's what they would say. They, they cry and no one cares, you know, and they'll curse each other and... It's horrible. And there's another section of the heart of hell that's bad. The heart of hell is for hypocrites and backbiters. Uh, it's a real heart, big as a football field, and it's got snakeskin on it. And it beats like a real heart. And in it is put people that uh, are hypocrites, backbiters, that uh, really hurt the churches, hurt the pastors, even hurt programs that are real like yours. And they get they get warnings and warnings and warnings on the earth, but they don't stop. Uh, well, the greatest warning in the world is to re repent, repent, because right. if they don't repent, mm -hmm. then it's too late. The best thing in the world is for someone to be uh, warned of sin yes. and then repent from that sin. Uh, what we're talking about isn't fantasy. You know, you you grew up most of your life watching television, and and, and you, you you just think all these things are fantasy. Mary Catherine Baxter, will you look in the camera and tell people how real hell is? Hell is very very real. Uh, there's no escape once you get there. There's uh, you're turned over to your tormentors. Uh, while you're on the earth, you need to repent and turn unto God. But when you're down there. Uh, that you cry for mercy. There's no mercy. Those demons in hell are so evil, and they will even touch you, like I said before, like thousands of razor blades go through your body. And also there's worms that bore on your bones, and that's out of Ezekiel about the worms. And the, the cries of the dead, uh, see it, are so awful. They moan, they regret, wishing that listen to a uh, preacher, wishing they'd read their Bible wishing they'd give their life to the Lord Jesus so they wouldn't be in this place. And there's no more hope, no more destiny. And then they know it. They know the minute they descend in this gateways down to hell that they miss God. And they became, like one preacher said, they become a believer. They believe in the Bible. Mm. Mm -hmm. well, tell me some real people that you heard their story. Okay, there was quite a few talking to Jesus. They always talked to Jesus. And there was a man, really, he was really tall. His skeleton was tall, and he had a bank believe Bible in his hand. It was on fire. And he was preaching the word of the Lord in hell, and demons were stabbing him. They were telling him to shut up, that Satan was their God and all that. And I began to listen to him, and I turned to Jesus. And Jesus was in the human form, Sid, by the way. He was always in the human form. He actually cried in hell. Tears would come down his face. And because from my understanding of reading scripture, hell was not designed for humans. That's it was right. designed for demons and the devil. That's right.